Elizabeth Esposa and I'm back in a new video. Today we're going to do something for fun. I just wanted to do this because I just want to do something fun for this video, for this channel. So today, as you can see by the title, I'm going to be reacting to my old pictures. No! Oh God. Listen, let me just prepare you guys. Listen, I wasn't that cute back in the day and sometimes i'm still not cute i'm not cute i'm not i'm not that kind of girl that's cute so i'm just me you know so i've already accepted that fact and you better do it okay because you're about to watch eight pictures of me from back in the day so you better you better be ready okay those pictures will be popping somewhere here or something so without further ado let's start number one so this is my first picture, y'all. We have we have to start from the beginning. Okay, this is baby Chris. Okay, I was cute though. I was very cute. So, um, I love this picture. Um, I love the fact that my mom used to take pictures of us uh, from back in the day. She she loved pictures. So I love that we have pictures of us when we're still babies, me and my sister. So this is a cute one. I can't say I can't talk a lot about this picture, y'all. This is just so cute, and I just looked cute. Okay. <laughs> picture number two. Oh guys, please prepare. <laughs> Number two, oh my God, where did this cuteness go? Look at this picture because let me tell you the story about this picture. So, um, by the way, me, I'm looking at them from my phone. So, you, sorry for the phone, but yeah. Number two, this picture is from, uh, I was probably like 11, 12 let's say 12, you know, I was um, in my secondary school, I was studying in Save, for those who know Save in TTC. Your girl wasn't cute anymore because, hmm, the situation was harder, okay? We, we had to shave our heads, we had to wear uniforms, we had to eat, you know, eat, eat food, but, <laughs> you know, as you can see on the first picture, I, I was that chubby baby. I was the fat baby, okay? So here in this picture, I'm so thin. I don't have any muscle. I have nothing. Like, I was about to die. Okay, maybe I'm exaggerating, but that's me in secondary school in Rwanda. So no hair, uniforms. Everybody had to look the same. And um, shout out to my people from Save. I know you guys are here, right here. Uh, I love you so much and I miss you. I had a great time in Save, but ho, oh, the food. And uh, we should, I should do a video about this. I only did two years, y'all. And I'm happy I didn't stay there. Because, let me tell you why. I had that anxiety. I was sick just from being there. Because some schools were very, very harsh and hard and let's not talk about it but yeah that was me at age 12 i was a big girl already grown and whatever but i life was hard back then especially in school yo and my my, my, my school results weren't good because i don't know what's happening i think it was like whatever but that was me at age 12 yo sorry for the cuteness it ain't there there is no cuteness in this picture sorry we were allowed to get visits from our family, friends, only the first Sunday of the month. So probably this was like my mom coming to visit and she took this picture. And thank you, mom. Thank you for being there for me. Even though you didn't give me a lot of pocket money. Hmm. Mama was so hard on me too. So <laughs> everybody from the same school thought that I was rich or I wasn't. And my mom, she, she was even extra. She was like, I'm only giving you 2,000. I'm like, 2,000, what are you, for a month? And then you, some kids were getting like 10,000, 5,000 random francs, and I only got 2,000 per visit. That was hard, mom. <laughs> but thank you because you taught me how to use my money. So she knew what she was doing. Okay, enough talking about this picture. Let's go at the age of 13, 14 and stuff, okay? 13, 
this picture right here. I just got to Belgium with my sister. I was, I tried to put on a weave because I was almost bald. I was very excited that I was going to wear a weave for the first time and um, we came to Belgium. So that's the picture. Uh, here I was at my um, grandparents' house, you know, uh, we got adopted. So my parents, the parents of my stepdad, are very very nice so we went to visit every Sunday and that picture was taken at the house so this is me at age 13 people oh, I was so small look look at my arms they're so thin now I'm like come here let's fight <laughs> no enough sorry sorry guys but I look cute in this video in this big picture I look really cute okay photo number four okay yes your girl used to have a gap between her teeth okay but now i don't have it anymore do you see that <laughs> so yeah i used to have a gap but because um uh, i did suck on my fingers and whatever that gap became weird and open and whatever so i had to wear braces to close it and I don't know. I don't know why, but you know, I, I just thought that that was a good idea. And um, my mom was like, are you going to leave just a little gap, just like a souvenir that used to have a gap? But I was like, no, let's close it. Let's close it. I don't know. I mean, sometimes I do regret, but sometimes I'm like, you know what? I have pictures. So, <laughs> so anyway, this picture was probably the same year as the other photo. Um, it was uh, probably uh, uh, at the age of 13 as well or 14 uh, yeah I still had my gap but later after that I had braces so next picture oh my god oh my god this picture y'all so I don't know why but let me tell you I, I had this insecurity from you know from age 10 whatever I didn't feel like I look girly enough. I didn't, like my face, I don't look cute. As I said, I don't look cute. So I was like, maybe if I wear like pink colors, I'm gonna look girly. So that's why I was so obsessed with pink back in the day. Oh my God, I feel so, <laughs> I'm st I love pink. Like now I'm wearing pink, but this pink is okay. But this pink though, like, girl, what were you? <laughs> so, uh, I used to be extra extra pink. Oh my god. I feel so awful about this picture though But so here I was uh, studying Dutch. Um, I was in studying Dutch in Oaken class uh, Did I talk about Oaken class? You should check out my video I, There is this video that I talked about me arriving in Belgium and whatever that video is gonna help you understand more about the, these pictures, right? so I was studying Dutch in Oaken class and that was also one of the greatest moments in my life uh, after I, after I came in Belgium because I met other people from other countries and we had a lot a lot of fun uh, learning Dutch learning the, the language in Belgium so <sighs> pink was my thing you know? even in Rwanda pink was my thing I was like oh pink pink everything has to be pink because I didn't feel like I was cute like I don't know I, I just had that insecurity you know? so next picture next picture let's this one okay the braces are out your girl is here i was probably at a party or at somebody's party in in brussels okay this is another era you know like i'm, I'm grown up uh, i don't wear pink anymore like you know i'm starting to you know this picture is pretty cute. So I was rocking my natural hair, my natural relaxed hair. Um, I love this picture because it's cute and it's just another period in my in my time in my time that I was, you know, discovering a little bit, making mistakes, whatever. So that was a little. That was mm, yeah. This picture and the next one. Let's go to the next picture. Yes, here I was in a party and I was, you know, like living my best life. See, when I talk about, you know, that I've been there, uh, that I know what it is, partying and stuff, 
girl i've been there okay so what i'm here like uh, giving you guys advice on how to go through life and stuff is because i've been there okay so oh my god i was so thin look at that waist okay <laughs> snatch so yeah so that was my party era so i i would go out and party and dance all night yes so that was me back in the day i i loved crochet braids i did this on my own i should do more crochet braids y'all I, I miss doing crochet but anyways that's the party area uh after that this is also one of my favorite pictures and this is the last one i believe so last but not least this picture is very very emotional for me this is a really emotional picture for me uh, and I was, as i was saying there was this video explaining like my life in belgium so i will link that video in the description box below make sure you go ahead and check it out after this one this was the victory after a long battle of depression stress whatever that was uh, my graduation um uh, of my middle school because after um, when I came to Belgium I had done only two years of middle school in Rwanda so I had to finish the rest in Belgium so I, I still had like four years five years of middle school so that was after the whole stress because I had a hard time finishing it that you you can check it out in that video so this picture I love this picture I look cute as well I look cute i remember buying this dress but this was my most expensive dress till now no not till now but like this dress i remember paying like 110 euros for this dress and i've worn it only this time and another time like two times right now i don't even know where this dress is i'm gonna give it to my niece that was the plan that was the plan giving it to my niece because it was so short but very very cute i love the cuteness of this dress and I had these red heels from my auntie and that was the little car, <laughs> red car from, of my mom. She still, had that, she still has that car. This picture is very, very, <sighs> I love this picture. Yeah, anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. <sighs> it feels good to talk, to tell you guys about this picture, so. Uh, there is more maybe I'll react to more pictures in the future Let me know if you want to see like part two or part whatever of other pictures Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you stay safe. Make sure wherever you are be safe be strong and with everything that's happened corona with we know a lot of things are, has been happening lately the killings of our brothers and sisters like every crazy thing that's happening right now I just hope that humanity just wakes up and realize that we are more stronger together than you know apart there is no need to fight that's why I didn't want to I don't I don't want to do a video that's so depressing on this channel or whatever I want to cheer you guys up but I, I still I'm not ignoring what's happening outside I do acknowledge it and I speak about it I try to comment about it because it has made me so mad to see what's happening out, out here in America, in France, in other countries. So it's so sad. So, and I'm telling you, if you are a, a white person or not in the minority right here, speak as well. Do something because um, it's not going to come from us, the minority. It's going to also come from the majority because you guys have the power. For, from, for all these years, this guy, you guys have had the power. So you have to understand what's happening, acknowledging it, and then we can change what's happening. Thank you so much for watching. I love you so, so much. Leave requests for, for other videos that you guys want to see on this channel. I love you. Don't forget to subscribe for more. Mwah. Bye. <laughs>